、いい正解。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 83. Extermination of the entire household. In the tea room, Ji Yu Shu had a sudden realization in his heart. Previously, Shen Miao said that she wanted to create news and it was targeted against Prince Yu residents. At this moment, the information that was sold to the Chen family was also related to Prince Yu residents. Was not this beckoning resentment for Prince Yu's residents? It seemed that what Jia Aoyang said was indeed correct. The Shen family and Prince Yu residents have a deep seated hatred. People set a trap here for Prince Yu residents and wait for them to suffer a setback. But the more Ji Yu Shu thought, the more he became somewhat gloomy. The people who came to Bei Zhao Shen to do business had always been sincere in trading news, and would be deeply grateful to have a place to provide useful information. Nowhere would it be like Shen Miao. Who directly used Bei Zhaoxing as a tool and made use of Bei Zhaoxing to entice the Chen family to go against Prince Yu residents? But Ji Yu Shu was thinking that even if the Chen family of Zhang Nan was large, Prince Yu residents had an infamous reputation for so many years, and there was the imperial family protection. So unless there was a huge blood debt, no one would rush into such a danger. Is what Shen Yang Lady say is true? Chen Yu Shan words were labored. Prince Yu's infamous reputation was known to everyone, and if the Chen family's sisters ended in his hands, one could well imagine the end. I have no need to lie to you. How could you prove that what you said was true? Chen Yu Hai suddenly shouted out agitatedly. Most likely he did not believe it, or maybe did not dare to believe it. So he was particularly fierce to Shen Miao. Both Chen family's sisters were beautiful and were protected by the Chen family rigorously. Prince Yu of the first rank had always been provocative and spent quite a lot of thought into capturing the sisters from the Chen family. After which, they were transported overnight to the capital, and when the Chen family was searching for the sisters' whereabouts in Yu province, the Chen family's sisters had already reached Prince Yu residence. Speaking till here, Shen Miao's paused before continuing. After which, Prince Yu's methods of torturing were extremely terrifying, and the Chen sisters attempted suicide but were stopped by Prince Yu. Afterwards, the older sister intended to fawn so that the younger sister could escape, but in fact, Prince Yu was well aware of the sisters' plans but pretended ignorance. Afterwards, Prince Yu gave the older sister to his subordinates and was tortured and beaten to death. The younger sister was insulted during the escape journey and was blinded in one eye. She found a place to work by cleaning up night soil, but the neighbors around were all put in place by Prince Yu. This was all to play with the younger Chen sister to see her live full of hope in the swamps. Her voice was calm and cool, and there was only a little regret at the end, but it made one feel cold as one listened. Ji Yu Shu was also extremely terrified, although he was aware that Prince Yu's methods of torturing female. Males were dreadful, but it was the first time hearing someone describing it to such a detail like Shen Miao. Moreover, that younger Chen sister thought that she had escaped and was living full of hope, wishing that there would be a day where one could take revenge and return home, but did not know that the hope was fabricated in one's hand, and what she had all done was just a form of entertainment in the eyes of Prince Yu. Such words like this made the Chen brothers to become quiet. Chen Yu Hai slowly extended his hands and clutched his head, and he suddenly howled out painfully. His voice was like a wounded beast that made one tear when they heard it. Ji Yu Shu could not help but cast a sympathetic eye. Shen Miao looked at him, and she sighed in her heart. The first half of the Chen sisters' lives were filled with brocade garments and. Jaded meals and were pearls in the family palms. The lives they lived were carefree, and they could be the happiest and most fortunate female in the world. But the next part of their lives were so miserable that it was incomparable to ordinary females. A too magnificent appearance was a sin, and the Chen sisters had sinned. Shen Yang Lady, Chen Yu Shen was after all more composed than Chen Yu Hai, but even so, his voice was trembling as he spoke. How can Shen Yang Lady prove that what was said is the truth? All this is, after all, Shen Yang Lady's one-sided statement. Even if the most steady person were to hear the information, they would not be willing to believe it, and also would be like Chen Yu Shan and continue to evade and not face it. Very simple: the younger Chen sister is still alive today, but Prince Yu residents have an impenetrable defense. So if you rush into it like this. 
one would inadvertently alert the enemy. If one want to know if what I said is true, you should go to the little footboy who comes out to buy stuff and ask if there is a female who clean up the night soil. She is your younger sister, so you will know if you ask. Once the words were said, both Chen brothers' bodies shook and the pain on their faces could not be hidden. Ji Yushu sighed in his heart, Shen Miao said it that detailed and confidently, so this information must be true. You! Chen Yu Hai stared at Shen Miao and suddenly said, since she were already aware of this, why did you not save her and just watched her fall into the fire pit without lending a helping hand, and instead come here calmly to sell the news? You! He fiercely slammed the table, you are so ruthless, you hi. Chen Yushan reprimanded him in a low voice and cupped his fist in the other hand and said, my apologies to Shen young lady. My second younger brother is too deeply hurt and hope that Shen young lady would not take it to mind. Even though the words were polite, there was a trace of blame when he was looking at Shen Miao. After a quiet moment, Shen Miao did not get angry but laughed instead before looking at Chen Yu Hai and said, how would gentleman Chen think I can lend out a helping hand? I am a unarmed and defenseless young lady, and how would I have any ability to save her out from the pit of fire, without any regards of one's safety to infiltrate Prince Yu's residence, or be like her older sister and give up my life to give her an opportunity? Today I will say this out, if that person was my own older sister, I could attempt to rescue but that is only a stranger to me. Dare to ask gentleman Chen. Would you bet your life for a stranger? If you dare, I will respect you as a hero. Unfortunately I am just a timid and narrow-minded female. On what basis must I be the good person? Her words were said quickly and anxiously and the Chen brothers were actually rendered speechless by her. Ji Yu Shu jaw dropped. He did not know why but felt that Shen Miao just suddenly got mad just now. Shen Miao's words were filled with sarcasm. She was not wrong. If there were good people who were willing to bet their life for strangers then the world would not be this difficult to live in. Shin Miao was only a young female, how would she have any ability to help the Chen sisters to escape from the trap? Shin Miao looked coldly at the two brothers opposite her. Just now she had lost control of some of her emotions. It was just now that she most hated others using the righteous cause to coerce her. In the beginning because of the people of Ming Chi. Because of Fu Ziyu Yi, she was willing to be the a hostage in Ken country but upon the return back to the palace, what waited for her was the cold indifference of the emperor. Her Shen family had supported the monarch's greater good of the country but ended up with the extermination of the family. On what basis it was always them that were paying? On what basis she had to be the savior? The Chen family sisters were indeed pitiful but when she was thrown into the cold palace and was at the end of one's rope or when she could not even protect her children, was not she also pitiful, but who reached out to help her? In this troubled world, no matter how difficult life was, it was to be traveled by oneself, no one would go out to rescue others. Chen Yu Hai was silent for a long while before he spoke to Shen Miao, just now my words were too strong. Shen young lady, do pardon me. Shen Miao had calmed down her frame of mind and said, my information ends here. Us brothers believe Shen young lady's words. Chen Yushan said, but it is imperative to first investigate my younger sister whereabouts and once younger sister is found, the Chen family would definitely award tens of thousands of gold as thanks. I had said before that there is no need for tens of thousands of gold and only wish to attain good karma. Shen Miao said, but I have some words, not sure if both of you are willing to hear it out. Willing to hear the details. Chen Yushan cupped his hands together. Prince Yu of the first rank is calculating, narrow-minded and unwilling to make the smallest of sacrifice. Thus if anyone provoke him, he would definitely retaliate back. The Chen family is a big household but once a contest with the imperial family happen, one would at the end fall short. Presumably both of you not only want to save the younger Chen sister but to also take revenge for the Chen sisters. The two brother looked at one another and Chen Yuhai did not conceal that all, a deep blood feud which is absolutely irreconcilable. We the Chen family cannot exist together with Prince Yu residents. This debt of blood is bound to be recovered back. Even if you do not demand this debt back, 
to take back the younger Chen sister, Prince Yu would definitely know that it is the doing of the Chen family so no matter what the case, it would be going up against Prince Yu residence. I am under the impression that when one cut the weeds, the roots must also be dug out. If one do not want to fear the future, Prince Yu residents have to be eliminated in one stroke. Shen young lady meaning is? Chen Yu Shan asked hesitantly. The numerous connections with different sects in the pugilist world and being friends with the different heroes, even though Prince Yu residence is noble, but considering the actual strength, if one wanted to carry out the extermination of the entire household, it is not a difficult thing. Ji Yu Shu was idly listening at the side and when he listened to that he could not help but spurt out his tea. The look he gave to Shen Miao was one of astonishment. It was truly somewhat terrifying to hear a little young lady to calmly say extermination of the entire household. The Chen brothers were also stumped for words. Chen Yu Shan sized Shen Miao up and his heart could not help but be filled with a chill. One thought that when wandering on the pugilist world, one would have seen numerous people who were vicious and merciless but this little young lady in front of him was by far the best. One sentence and it was not to leave a person alive, really extremely vicious. However they too also felt that Shen Miao's words had some sense. If there would be a living person, the centipede would die but the never fall down and it would be inevitable that it would be traced back to the Chen family of Zhang Nan. The matter of extermination of the entire household is indeed not difficult. Chen Yushan smiled bitterly, but this is going against his majesty. As one's family, naturally he could not wait to chop Prince Yu to a thousand pieces and they could do it too but there were still other people in the Chen family. There were women folk, children and the weak elderly. With the imperial family embroiled in it, one could harm the entire Chen family. I have a way to not let His Majesty pursue the matter as long as you have the guts to turn Prince Yu's nest upside down. Shen Miao said, You. Chen Yu Hai said, Shen young lady we know you are powerful, otherwise the news that we were not finding for the past three years would not have fallen onto your hands. But the imperial family matters are not that simple and with one carelessness one would draw fire onto oneself. It may be assumed that after I leave, you both would also investigate my background. I am the daughter of the formidable great general, Ding Capital's General Shen residence. With this identity, do you think that one's words can be spoken in the imperial court? The Chen brothers were surprised for a moment and had an astound expression on their faces. Most likely they did not think that Shen Miao had such an identity and thus fell silent. They started their family in the pugilist world and even though they were wealthy, between officials and merchants, merchants were forever below and could only look at the matters of the court from afar. Without knowing the depth of the matter and with Shen Miao's light coaxing, a sensation was stirred up. Why do you want to help us? Chen Yuhai asked vigilantly, to spare no effort to help us, what benefit do you get? You are surely a weird person. Just now you blamed me for not lending a helping hand and now that I do lend it, you are now suspicious and do not understand. Shen Miao's taunts made Chen Yu Hai feel aggravated. Chen Yu Shan waved his hand and looked towards Shen Miao with a smile and said, Shen young lady is naturally a mediator but since the matter is important, one was afraid of implicating Shen young lady. One did not only help you. Shen Miao said blandly, I also have a huge blood feud with Prince Yu residence. Currently my Tangji is about to marry into the Prince Yu residence and was also one of the tortured people. If you were to exterminate the entire Prince Yu household, would trouble you to please spare my Tangji's life. When the Chen brothers heard of this, the dots in their hearts were more than half scattered. They cupped their hands towards Shen Miao, as such. Many thanks. Both of you can first inquire news of the Chen young sister. One must not act rashly upon receiving the inquiry. I will meet you again to discuss, here in three days time. The Chen brothers nodded their heads and also heard the intention of sending them off in Shen Mia words. There was no moment to be careless now so they stood up straightforwardly. Chen Yu Shan said, after finding my younger sister, the Chen family have received Shen young lady's favor. If in the future there is a use for the Chen family, naturally the Chen family would not decline. For this matter, many thanks. After finishing, 
they quickly carried their swords and left hastily, mostly likely to inquire about the whereabouts of the Chen family younger sister. Ji Yushu stared at Shen Miao. He initially thought that that day Shen Miao's performance was already quite unique. But one had not thought that she was even more surprising today. People from the pugilist world were mostly arrogant, and the Chen family was considered a large family and this was a transactional deal but under Shen Miao's few words, she had become the Chen family's benefactor and the Chen brother's attitude towards Shen Miao became courteous. Just like the brothers said, in the future if Shen Miao have any difficulties, the Chen family would help and to be able to be connected to the Chen family, it was not an easy feat. Manager Ji, now we can discuss about the deal between us. Shen Miao looked at him. The conditions that you mentioned that day, I have thought about it. Ji Yushu pretended to touch his chin and made an appearance of being in a difficult position. Actually this news of yours is just too dangerous. If it is successful, naturally one would be happy but if it is discovered one day, my Feng's Yan Pawn Shop would not need to open anymore. I, the manager, would also have my head chopped off and all the servants here would also lose their lives. So for this deal, you need to pay with the Shen family and money but I need to pay with lives. Speaking of this, it is to my disadvantage. Shen Miao gave him a fluttering glance and said, as such, there is no deal for this business. I understand have disturbed manager Ji for so long. Goodbye. The words that Ji Yushu planned to say were not finished when he saw Shen Miao's sudden change of expression and wanting to leave. He was so shocked that he forgot to pretend and quickly said, Hey, 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 I have yet to finish my words. How is it that nowadays young ladies are unable to remain calm? Shen young lady, even though I felt that this is very dangerous, the first time I saw you, I felt that both of us are very fated. For a beautiful girl like you to put forth any request, there would not be any males who would not disagree. I am one who cannot see a beauty in grievance and if this deal is not done, one think that you would also not be happy. To make you happy, what harm is there to bet my life to it so I will make this deal. In the secret room at the other side, after hearing such nauseating words from Ji Yu Shu, Zhao Yang could not help but look at Zi Jingxing, is he alright? This is not young lady Xiao Yao and to provoke such a poisonous female like this. This is a cannibalistic young lady. Zi Jingxing's pulled back, such recklessness. But when Shen Miao finished listening to Ji Yushu, she calmly said under Ji Yushu's ardent and warm eyes, that being the case, then let me tell manager Ji of my plans. Ji Yushu immediately sat down, alright. May Shen young lady speak. Currently the Ming Chi people all know that then years ago his majesty met with an assassination, and Prince Yu used his body to protect and manage to save his majesty from the assassin, and lost a leg in the process. That assassin however escaped. Exactly. Shen Miao smiled gently. The news that I want you to spread is very simple. Is that recently Prince Yu had put a personal guard to death and in addition that personal guard, other than looking slightly older, looked exactly the same as the assassin ten years ago. This. Ji Yushu was dazed first before suddenly pausing and the cup in his hands almost fell out of his hands. May manager Ji ensure that this information be heard by his majesty. Shen Miao smiled gently. Is this true? Ji Yushu tried to probe. Real or fake, it is enough when manager Ji find ways to turn it into the truth. Shen Miao smiled. You. Ji Yushu stared at Shen Miao and was speechless for a long time. He felt that this little young lady who looked younger than him was actually a monster. Since the deal is done, I should also leave. Shen Miao stood up. Manager Ji's action has to be faster, at least faster than the extermination of the entire Prince Yu household. After she finished speaking, she did not even glanced at Ji Yushu when she turned and left. Hong Ling was waiting outside for a long time and when she saw her coming out, she knew that the discussion of the deal was completed and led her out. In the secret room, Zhao Yang was silent for a moment before speaking, Shen family is so powerful and I do not think that this is a good thing. Now that there is more monks and less porridge, the Shen family cannot remain for long. I have the final say towards remaining or not. Zi Jing Xing lazily said, 
It is also not bad to use the Shen family hands to deal with the old dog Prince Yu. Perhaps one day the Shen family will deal with you like that. If they dare, I would not mind to cut the weeds and eliminate the roots. Zi Jing Sheng's beautiful black eyes lit up. Is there whereabouts for that thing? Jiao Yang shook his head. On the extermination day, I will personally take a trip there. Zi Jing Sheng sat up straight and played with the jade in his hands. I do not believe it can fly away. You really believe that Shen Miao's plan of exterminating the entire Prince Yu's household is done well? But during the actual proceeding, there would always be accidents. Accidents? Zi Jing Xing chuckled lightly and his half-open peach eyes looked like they were intoxicated but under the long eyelashes, that pair of eyes were as sharp as knives, as if the cat had caught the mouse and was playing with it, ever since I met her the first time. There was no accident with her. The time passed as always very fast. The General Shen residence was a very strange residence. Before the accidents happened, everything was naturally concealed under a joyous and harmonious appearance. Previously the relationship between the households at least looked good from the outside. That was until a fire burned down the Shen family's ancestral hall. It also burned Shenzhen couple's trust of the second and third households which had soured now their relationship with the eldest household. Now that Shen King had lost her innocence and had to marry Prince Yu of the first rank, people who knew the reason were also aware that this was not a good thing. But Chen Rikayu and Shen Yu were happily and busily preparing for Shen King's marriage. Since it was the imperial family that bestowed the marriage one had to show a happy appearance. But between one's own family there was no need to show such a happy attitude. This looked overly cold. Because of Shen King, Ren Wanyun quarreled with Shen Gui and old Shen Furin was biased towards Shen Gui, and was increasingly dissatisfied with this daughter-in-law so she did not return the power of managing the household back to Ren Wanyun. Chen Rikayu was valued by old Furin so naturally her actions were more solicitous. Ren Wanyun had anger in her heart and at times could not help but show resentment to old Shen Furin. Old Shen Furin was even more severe as she directly retained Shen Yu on Bo in Rong Jing Ting and did not let Ren Wanyun see him. At this point, Ren Wan Yun had become the person who was cut off from others in the huge Shen family. Even the servants that were under her also secretly seek refuge with Wan Yi Niang, who was currently in the limelight. If Ren Wan Yun was not scolding and cursing the entire day in Kai Yun Yuan, then she would be crying and hugging Shen King, making her look somewhat insane. Those things had no relationship with the western courtyard. Shen Zin couple was conscious of keeping the distance to second and third households so the attitude was neither hot or cold. Through this matter, they most likely saw clearly the second and third households cold character. At least to Shen Zin's and Wu Wo Zhu Yan's viewpoint, if whatever that happened to Shen King befall on Shen Miao, both of them would never have swallowed the anger and were afraid they would fight with their lives to give justice to Shen Miao. In addition with Shen Miao's sensibility, she did not alienate them like she had treated them in the past, which made them feel that it was very worth it to have requested Emperor Wen Hua's grace to stay in the Ding capital much longer. In the room Bei Lu said, Eldest young master just now picked a few precious jewelry for young lady again and also gave a few bank notes for young lady. This servant will put it in the box for young lady. Shen Miao nodded her head. After Shen Kaiyu was aware that she had gone to Feng's Yan pawn shop, he thought that she was short on money to spend and sent over every few days the exquisite stuff that the palace had bestowed, or else he would just directly send money over and also said to her, younger sister. If you have no money, tell elder brother and elder brother would give it to you. Do not go to that whatever pawn shop, Shen Kaiyu's younger sister do not need to go to a pawn shop to pawn things for money. Shen Miao was also disinclined to explain to him and since having more money was not a problem, she was happy to accept it. It has been two days since the meeting with the Chen brothers and one had to go to the Feng's Yan pawn shop again tomorrow. One was not sure if Chen Yushan and Chen Yuhai were able to inquire about the whereabouts of the younger Chen sister. That Chen family's sister's life experience was undoubtedly very pitiful. And when she came to know about the matter, 
It was during her previous lifetime she had married to Fu Ziyue and when Fu Ziyue just ascended the throne, he had no patience with Prince Yu of the first rank. Fu Ziyue was after all not emperor when Hu and Prince Yu had not saved his life. As an emperor who had just ascended to the throne, there was nothing worthy of happiness from a royal Shu who gave trouble to him. Zhang Nan's Yu province's Chen family finally learned about the Chen sisters' experiences three years later and at that time also tried assassinating Prince Yu. This pair of brothers had the guts and directly crippled Prince Yu's other leg but unfortunately let Prince Yu live. Prince Yu was furious and wanted to track down who was it and through this problem to Fu Ziyu Yi. To investigate who were the assassins it was especially difficult, but Fu Ziyu Yi had aides and advisors all over the land and that also included people in the pugilist world, thus someone mentioned the Feng Xian pawn shop's private business to Fu Ziyu Yi. Fu Ziyu Yi himself did not come forward personally but sent people to spend heavily to buy the news of the assassins who assaulted Prince Yu. It was also strange to mention that the Feng Xian pawn shop took the business, but the deal was not completed as they said that there was no news received. The Feng Xian pawn shop did not receive it but Fu Ziyu Yi later found out that it was the Zhang Nan's Chen family, so the whole family was drowned in the disaster that they ushered in. In this lifetime, Shen Miao had long thought about this matter, long before Prince Yu had different designs on her. Just as Ren Wan Yun had started the transaction, she had already laid out such a scheme. Everything was in accordance with the chess game. Shen King was humiliated, Ren Wan Yun counterattacked, even Shen King's accidental pregnancy were all in her plans. In a natural way, implicate the pregnancy in the returning feast. Shen Qin would want to marry Prince Yu and Prince Yu would be up in a violent rage. Prince Yu would place all his energy on her, thus the Chen family's people would be able to take advantage of this opportunity to work out a strategy secretly. As for the imperial family, it would be a light work. Actually Shen Miao had a speculation all along that with the Feng Xian pawn shop's ability, it was not exactly unable to find out that it was the Chen family that assaulted Prince Yu in the past life. But Fu Ziyu Yi's people kept not receiving any news. Perhaps the Feng Xian pawn shop deliberately did so, and there was a possibility that there was some discord between the Feng Xian pawn shop's people and Prince Yu. That was why in the pagoda of the Feng Xian pawn shop, Shen Miao deliberately tested Ji Yu Shu and said extermination of the entire household. Ji Yu Shu had a stunned look, but there was no gloom on it. So obviously Ji Yu Shu had no resentment or gratitude to the residence of Prince Yu. But for a person who had died once, sometimes one's intuition was terribly accurate. Ji Yu Shu's reaction not only did not dispel Shen Miao's conjectures, but also made her have another doubt in her heart. If it was so, then everything was not unexplainable. Perhaps the owner behind the Feng Xian pawn shop was not Ji Yu Shu, who was the person behind the scene. Shen Miao was unable to call it to mind. She originally thought that due to being an empress in the past life and also being by Fu Ziyu Yi's side, all these big and small secrets would be in the palm of her hands, but it seemed that the depth of this waters was more dangerous than she had imagined it to be. But in any case, Prince Yu's household must be exterminated and Prince Yu's life be collected, as for Shen King, naturally should be kept alive in a manner where death was better than living. In the previous life Shen King came to see her in jail, now in this lifetime, she would return the favor with thanks. Shuang Zhang carried a flower pot in and smiled, yesterday the sun was especially big so this servant brought this pot of flowers out to bask in the sunlight initially this servant did not believe when young lady said that most likely there would be snow in these past few days and made this servant bring out the parasol covers who knew that early this morning there was snowfall thanks to young lady's preparation or else these pots of flowers would be miserable and this servant would also get into trouble speaking of which Young ladies seemed to like making preparations. Bei Lu smiled, to prepare things early, one will be able to think of things that could go wrong and every time we encounter critical issues, we are able to get by it easily. This character of young ladies is very good to have. Shin Miao smiled lightly and the pair of bright eyes reflected the scenery outside but were as firm as a rock. She said, 
It is nothing. I just do not like accidents.